What's up everyone? My name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at two linear equation word problems. So these are the two questions that we're going to look at and let's get started. Okay, for the first question here, we want to take this formula and this is the formula for Fahrenheit where C represents the degrees in Celsius. And what we want to do is we want to solve this equation for the variable C. And once again, C represents the temperature C in Celsius and then we're going to use this new equation to find the temperature in degrees Celsius when Fahrenheit is 59 degrees. So basically the question here is just asking us to solve this for the variable C and then we're going to plug in F equals 59 to see what is the degree temperature in Celsius when the temperature in Fahrenheit is 59 degrees. So we could start this by subtracting 32 on both sides. So the goal is to just get everything away from the variable C. So we have F minus 32 now equals 9 fifths times C. And then to solve for the variable C, we could multiply both sides by the reciprocal 5 over 9. Just on the left side, make sure that we write this in parentheses because the 5 ninths is attached to F and the minus 32. It has to, in a sense, distribute. But there was no specification on what form our answer had to be written in, so we can write our answer like this. So 5 ninths times F minus 32. And this solves the first part of the question that we have to solve for the temperature C. But then now we want to use this new equation to find the temperature in degrees Celsius when Fahrenheit temperature is 59 degrees. So essentially we want to see 59 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to blank degrees Celsius. So now let's go ahead and use this formula. We have C equals 5 ninths and we want to know the temperature when F equals 59 degrees. So we're plugging in F equals 59, and now we just have to simplify this here. So this is 5 ninths times, and 59 minus 32 is 27. And now this simplifies pretty nice. 27 over 9 is equal to 3, and 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So the solution to the f first question here is that 59 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 15 degrees Celsius. So this is our converted temperature and then this formula here is what we used to actually solve for the degrees in Celsius. Okay, now take a second to read through this second question. And we have Matthew is renting a car for the day. The cost to rent the car is $29 and he's also charged an additional 20 cents for each mile he drives. And we know the total bill is $66.40 for one day. So we need to set up, so this is the actual task. We have to set up and solve an equation for the number of miles M that Matthew drives the rental car. Okay, so now to solve this question, the thing we have to distinguish here is that $29 represents a fixed amount and the 20 cents represents the rate that he's charged per mile. So in a sense, in the linear equation, this would represent the slope. So then when we set up our equation, we know that Matthew is going to pay 20 cents, which is point twenty dollars per mile. So point twenty times M, where M represents the number of miles. Plus, he has a fixed charge of $29, which we'll just write as 29 like this. Okay, so if he drives, let's say for some wacky reason, he only drives two miles, then he would be charged an additional 40 cents, and we'd have 40 cents plus $29 is $29.40. So this is the correct way to set up this part of our equation, but we know that his total bill is $66.40. So then to solve for the number of miles that he needs to drive, well, we could subtract... 29 on both sides. And now we have 0.20 times 
times m, where m is still the number of miles, equals, and now if we just do the subtraction here, we have the 40 cents just follows, and now we could borrow, and we're left with $37.40 after we subtract 29. So then to solve for m, we just divide both sides by 0.20. So you could use a calculator for this. If we want, we could uh, do this the long way with a long division. Just convert these two decimals into whole numbers by multiplying the top and bottom by 100. It just moves the decimals over two places. And then 20 goes into 37 once with a remainder of 17. 20 goes into 174 eight times. That brings you to 160. And 160 is 14 away. And then 20 goes into 140 seven times. Matthew drove 187 miles. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on solving linear equation word problems. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests for future videos, topics you want me to cover, just leave those in the comments section below. And thank you all for watching.